Hey guys, Craig here. Roger asked me to cut a short video on putting together a credit spread. So what we're looking at is a daily chart of Apple, okay, last six months or so. And you got the 200 day moving average right in here, 50 day moving average, all right? And let's just say for fun that, I mean, there is some some prior support in here. You see the market just broke, broke below the 200, held it here and then traded lower. And this is where it pulled back to back in December and continue to move lower, based a little bit, moved up, based. Now we're getting another push up. We are testing resistance. And let's just say for fun, everything is saying we're likely to move lower. So in that case, what we could do is put on a bearish position with a bear call spread. So what we would do is we would look to see identify that that level of resistance or that price level which we want the market to stay below on expiration so if we think that the market's going to top here at 185 184 and a quarter then we could look at like for example the 185 187 and a half bear call spread or if we think that the market could trade all, all the way up to the 200 moving average then you know we would look at maybe the 190, 192 and a half spread, or even 192 and a half, 195 spread. So let's go to the options chain and take a look at those, okay? But we need to get an idea of where we're going to trade first, and and also the other thing at this point, the calls are inflated because the market has been been moving up. So it's actually better to do bear calls when the market's been moving up versus after the market's already starting to move lower. So you're going to get more premium when the market's actually moving up to that, that price level. So let's go and take a look at the option chain here. And if you look at this, I've got Apple, okay? Here's your expiration. Well, first of all, let me start over here. I'm already jumping ahead. Here's your months, days to expiration, okay? And we typically look, you know, two to three weeks out maybe four weeks. So anyway, around 15 days out. This is perfect. So we can look at the 29th of March options. And now notice these are single. If we're going to buy options, this is what we would use. But we want to look at the vertical. All right. So what we'll do now, you can see the strike prices here, over here. And if you recall, let me go back to the chart. We were looking at the 185 to 187 and a half is what we're looking at. So let's go back and let's find that. And it's right here, 185, 185, 187 and a half. Now, since we're going to do a bear call spread, which is a credit spread, we're going to click on the bid. Okay. And you can see it, it confirms credit down in here. So what this is telling me, and the couple things we look for is open interest. We just want to make sure there's an open interest trading at those options, which there's plenty of open interest in Apple. So, um, and in this case, when I click on that, you can see in here, we're going to sell the 185 strike price call for the 20th of March, and we're going to buy the call above it. Okay. That means that our risk is $2 and 50 cents. You know, the difference between the strikes minus the credit that we receive. So our total risk on the tr trade is going to be 250 minus 98 cents. We're going to risk $1.52. So I mean that's I mean that's pretty much it. If 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 we think that uh, the market is going to hold there, then we can and we want to place the trade, we just confirm and send. It's going to it's going to come back with a confirmation ticket, sell the 185 and we're going to buy the 187 and a half call at 98 cents and we're going to bring that premium in see credit of 980 bucks this is based on 10 contracts so one contract you know would be 98 dollars 10 contracts 980 you know 20 contracts would be double that so and that's it and then we could just place the trade oh. so if we get filled in here again we sold the 185s we're buying the 187.5. There's two dollars fifty cents between strikes. We brought in ninety-eight cents credit, so our risk is a buck fifty-two.